Hi, this is Oresh Kamoli with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. In the previous session, we added a section called group whereby we were able to see the groups which the user was a member of. Now, in this session, what we are going to do uh, is uh, we have the test group over here, as you see. I add this group for the demo user. When I refresh the page, I will see this group. Now, we are going to the next level or the next step. As I said, this is a step-by-step -step process. We are going to add the user to group or vice versa, that is, add the group to the user. We want to connect them together so that the user can be set in the test group or any other group that we intend. All right, uh, here we have the list before doing anything. We need to prepare the HTML. Here I set uh, drop down option over here, uh, an optional drop down that present me with some options such as the categorization or the new section or etc. Uh, we set a drop down so that it can show the available groups and we will be able to choose any groups that we like from them and the user is going to be added to that group first we need to make the html in the manager group here in the registration form instead of the input that we have here we are going to set a drop down for instance in the subcat add we remove this select I remove this select and let's see set it here instead of the text box here uh, choose a group okay name and ID would be group alright uh, group uh, now what needs to be noticed is to show all the groups here in the foreign alright I go to the view the manager view and over here in the manager view what I do is that I change this group to you group which short for user group is that okay and I send the you group to the templates okay here in the foreign that we wrote you group let's check if it is okay all right your group has been sent okay let's see if there's a problem you group your group dot app i dot name this is the group and here we say to which does it belong oh this belongs to group here we need to say what should we say let's see okay that's right in the group in the user group here instead of group we should say you group we need to correct this part over here I change that to you group so that the simple group is reserved for all the groups and I define a group I say group equals group the model objects dot objects and I send this to template okay it's being sent to template all right now in the manager group not in the manager in the user group here we set it wrong we went in the manager group 
and set the select we need to hit control z to go back we shouldn't have set it there here in the user group it needs to be set over here so i copy select i wrongly set it in the html that is why we need to be wise with the names here in the user group i need to set set it here and then this group okay right now let's check and see if it has been done correctly and the name of our groups have been set over here if now i go to the size admin and add test to and then here i can see test to so that i can add any one of them that i can want the user so we have added the groups now now we need to edit the html as well here it would be add user to group let's see how it looks now now we can choose the group and submit okay let's see we need to make the delete section later on but now we are dealing with the add section this is how our project looks right right now okay that's what we have done up until now okay here as you see i make a copy from this part and set it here and say let's see add underline users on the line groups okay i made a function with this name right now what values do i need as an input one is the name of the group the first value i need to receive it from and the other one is to know which user is being added to send his pk so i need a pk the user's pk and a name those are the two items that i'm going to need the pk and the name of the group okay let's see now i need to make my url and then take care of the other sections manager all right add to group and then a pk and a name okay and now it needs to connect to connect to where the name of my view the name of my view add user to group add user to group and with the name add user to group now i have made the url i need to go to the view okay a pk and a name need to be sent all right now here i need to make this function and say it needs to be sent to add user group i need a pk i say pk equals the value i need for pk and i also need a name the value that belongs to the name okay of course we can refrain from sending the name because we are getting the name through post message and we need not send it so we remove it things would be easier this way we just send it pk here the name is removed right now we are just sending a pk of the user in order to send the pk uh, we where the v where the user group is showing the groups we can send the receive pk to template to make things simpler and that's for our pk and here we can say pk equals pk and here in the add user group the pk of the user is being sent here the name the name would be yeah g 
key name short for group name and here it would be g name short for group name okay up to now it has been ready been made ready as a matter of fact okay now it is ready up to now we have a users pk and we receive the name to receive the name we say if request dot method equals post then g name equals request dot post dot get and g name will be received from template okay that's the first step that we needed to take i got the group name First, I need to define a group. I say my group equals the model of the group dot objects dot get. Okay, name equals what? Name equals G name, the name that we receive, the name that we receive from drop down or select. User needs to be found as well all right in order to find a user we say like we did when we couldn't find the name directly we say manager equals it is not an unfamiliar method to you we say manager equals let's say manager app dot object dot get based on what pk equals pk and then our user equals the django user with capital u objects dot get dot based on what user name equals manager dot utxt here we said we cannot use manager dot txt so we need to recall it in query and then we say user dot groups dot add all right group using this command user dot group dot add the name of the group will be added to it that is uh, it finds the group and adds it to the user and uh, what we have on our hand in the end uh, we say what we remove this we say redirect redirect to where now we want it to redirect to user group and we need a pk so redirect it to user group and get a pk pk equals pk okay all right now let's test it first i refresh my page for instance i choose test to group and submit and as you see test 2 has been added if we go over here in the groups we would be uh, we would be able to see test 2 again I add test 2 it won't give me an error I won't have to check it again if accidentally we add a group a few times it won't show any errors what we did as a matter of fact was to uh, quite simply any group that we want to use so that we won't have to do it through the django admin is being added to the admin and things are much more professional now we can manage our site very professionally as we are going along we are making things more professional and we are stopping our need for the Django admin more and more. This was the second phase of our project. After the admin of the groups, we are going to add the groups to the user. The next step is to deal with the deleting section. Now that we have added a group to the user, test two, we want to delete it. We need to be able to do this so that the admin has this ability and then 
after we make the delete section we need to check and see if a user is in a group or not we need to be able to check this option in both the view and the template two separate sections both in template we are going to check if a user is in the admin group that's what we do in the template and also in the view we are going to check the same thing because the user may have had access before but now he might want to hurt the system by using the url that he remembers and access those options so we need to check both in the template and the view uh, to see the limit of the user access so that he cannot access the items he's not supposed to and the next step we are going to deal with permissions we are going to first make a permission delete it and then give separate permissions to the users here as you may have noticed it consisted of two sections where you could add groups and permissions we deleted the permissions but why do they still exist when we hit migrate and make migrations commands and entered uh, what happened was the main permissions are back so we need to make sure that we delete them at the end of our processes because when we make migrations all the permissions will be remade all right that's for adding the users to the groups and the next step is to delete the user from the groups